In this video, we are going to have to look at how we do alignment of images from 2D fluorescence micrograph onto 2D electron micrographs. First of all, open the sections uh, of interest. Once it's open here, we see we have a fluorescence micrograph here and an electron micrograph that corresponds to it. In the fluorescence micrograph, you can see in this side panel that we have the colored uh, the channels of the different channels of the fluorescence. When we zoom in here in this region, we see that those melanosomes correspond to those guys. To help you figuring this out, when you do right click with IC, you can rotate arbitrarily the display of your image. Note that this is a display rotation and not a calculation. Your image when it will be uh, closed will remain as a raw data. Now we see that this melanosome here correspond to this one, this group here correspond to this one, and those two guys here correspond to these guys. Now type in the search bar ECLAM. If you don't have it, it will get installed when you click to, on it. If you have it, it will just launch the plugin. First, select 2D registration. Select the fluorescence images here as the one that will be transformed onto the target image, namely here the electron microscope, uh, micrograph. And then just start the plugin. When you start the plugin, the first thing you have to do is you have to place the points on the target image and not on the source. Here I'll select, for example, this melanosome, and the point will be placed in the center of the image because it has no prior knowledge of where to place it. Take it, drag it, and drop it. No transformation will be computed before we have enough points to do the transformation. Select the second melanosome here and drag it. We can zoom in and adjust it the way you like. Same for this guy. Now place a third point. When you zoom out you will see it appears again in the center. It's a third point and drop it. As soon as you release it, the calculation will take place and the transformation will be applied on your source image. The rotation will be maintained and when you zoom out you see that the rotation is still the same. If you reset it to zero, then what you can see already is that our melanosomes look pretty much the same way as those ones. If you lock the two images together, when you zoom in, it zooms in the other one and vice versa. So you can add more points on the, on the target image and you see it's already pre-aligned properly. You have to adjust it because it has no prior knowledge of where points should be. That's up to you to adjust it. It calculates the transformation and displays it again. Now if we go into this panel, the sequence panel, we can switch off different channels that are not of interest in our case and go to the quantum dot channel which is the one that is interesting for us in this example. Here, when you zoom in this guy, you will see a quantum dot aggregate, which is sharply designed. You can click and adjust. You can repeat this experiment several times until you have enough points to have your information well aligned. To help you find, uh, defining how far, how good your alignment is, we can use in ECLAM an option which is calculating for you the difference in position between the predicted place and where you place it yourself, and it comes out as a red arrow as such. And you can also calculate the predicted error in precision, which means that here, this orange circle tells you that any first and signal in this area is precise within 100 nanometer on this area. Now if we place enough points and we spread them well enough across the image, adjust all of them, 
will recalculate for all of them the predicted error. And as more you place, the more precise you are in, the, in your registration, of course. Note that the quality, uh, the, the size of this circle is highly dependent on whether you have assigned the right pixel size to your images already from start, because that's the base for calculation. Now we just adjust all of them. And once you have a satisfying number of points, you can then simply stop the plugin and it will create automatically the overlay multi channel. When you go in here, this image, you have an extra channel that comes in, which is the electron micrograph that you can adjust. And you see nothing appears. It's because of the transmitted light which is in here. If we switch it off, suddenly the electron micrograph appears more clearly. We can just adjust the fluorescent signal. Here, this is the transfer in Alexa, which is loaded into the uh, uh, section. We can reduce the hooks intensity and we can play with the intensity of the quantum dots to make them appear and overlay sharply to be sure that the alignment is good or not here I don't have sufficient number of points so some of the alignments are not as good as it could be the more points you place the better the alignment will be for the transmitted light in here if we switch it on again it's completely white so what we want is to invert the LUT so you just Take this place here, invert the LUT, and suddenly, if you adjust the intensity, the melanosomes appear in white over your overlay. From there, you can simply save your image as a TIFF, place it wherever you want in your computer, and you're done. Thank you very much and have a good day.